Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, from today, uh, I start creating a tutorial on Firebase and related to it, the sketch your application, of course. So, first, it needs an uh, account in Firebase. So, I'm going to create everything step by step. So, don't miss my video, subscribe my channel. And this uh, episode or this uh, lesson starts from this video. So in this video we are gonna taking a look at in description uh, how it works and some tips uh, from the Firebase. So let's get started. Open your Chrome browser and let's get started. And just minimize everything and search for Firebase. Only Firebase and just go on browser and here you can see the firebase options and uh, click on this link first one make sure you have in first one selected then you can see here is my account showing so make sure you already sign in with your email account i already signed that's why it's showing like that and click on here get started If you have some problems with uh, controlling this console, you can go here on this uh, slide menu and draw what kind of things is. And you can change to desktop mode if you like. Now here you can see it's a add a project uh, from the Firebase project. Now click on here add a project. Now give a name uh, like I'm going to name it like example so you can see when I name it example it give me a key with the example 1bf01 so just uh, go ahead and click on continue and you have to follow those rules or things and choose the account uh, like create a new account or default account for this firebase basically what it uh, re requests just create a new account or uh, name it like new server like that it just save your uh, server name your location where it access accept everything I'm gonna choose India because I am living now in India so there you go now I accept and create project so it's now creating project while it's creating so open sketchware from here now click on this plus sign and create a project I'm gonna give it name like user app go to advanced settings and change the package name what you like I'm gonna say it user app dot com change the project name with the user app the version is you can see 11.0 so create an app it just open now just I'm gonna design a small layout so in this video basically I'm going to uh, showing you and teaching you how you can retrieve data from database and firebase database so I'm just add one uh, list view over here you also can do that uh, without using this trip now you can see I have added one list view over here and go to custom and create one custom view for this list view I just add as a custom and here in this custom 
I'm gonna add one linear horizontal and make this height around 150 and just add one text and I'm change uh, the gravity so I'm gonna add write some data over here like 40 it's now okay gonna change the background color with the background like that or oh, this way so change the text color to white yep okay so now I'm gonna change the margin and give the margin like two yeah let's open up let's jump to uh this section where i'm gonna add components before i'm gonna add components i need to enable firebase so go to library firebase and you have to fill up everything so that's why make sure it already created and click on continue and your example application from firebase is completed now you have to add your application on this firebase that's why it need your package name make sure you remember your package name or first close your application uh, just copy apps so here you go go to settings admin settings and here you can see the package name just copy it from here and just click on this android and add package name name your application like user app and if you have SHA product you can extract from android studio now here is mainly one problem you can see the register button that's why i recommend you first just choose desktop site now you can see the register application button available when you get loaded just open your project from here And here you can see one options available like android i already told you but you have to do that same thing again cause this uh, page loaded again do same thing click on register or tap on register app tap on next and choose next and just skip this method skip this step got this step uh, for android uh, studio user only if you have uh, software you working on codes in pc then you must follow those steps and here you can see the application added now you have to go to this uh, this thing it's a setting icon or symbol and go to play settings here in this project settings you have to copy those things like you can see it's a project id now copy this project id copy it and open your project or application from here Okay, go to library firebase 
and add project ID. Minimize it and go for app ID. Copy, paste the app ID here. Minimize it and again go for API key. Sometime pickup will not work. Make sure you have good smartphones because this host phone have host feature. Now tap on next. If you are using fiber storage, then I recommend you. Or if you don't have, then you can continue to next and exit. But we will uh, create. I'm looking for new fiber storage tutorial in next episode. That's why I'm gonna add a bucket URL here. So just copy your project ID here. Paste it and write appspot.com and save it like that now it's saved you can see now we have to do much more things like let's go to develop option here today I'm gonna showing you how you can retrieve data that's why I'm gonna use this option database this go to this option database here here in this database you get two options sorry it kind of three options like cloud storage real-time storage and another one thing like that what about that method uh, so make sure you have to go you should go in real-time database because cloud storage not support through this so here is uh, two options available in locked mode and no one can see your privacy or private things you make it in private but in test mode everyone there's a no rule everyone can see so make sure it's now in lock mode and lock mode enabled So you can see it's the parent key now you have to give some change some rules and give some permission to access server from user application so here you have to edit those options like go to here and add to quotations and write true read true and write true and here also go true same thing read write what it makes uh, just it just read or uh, manage your uh, some data from your server that's how admin can easily upload their data in server so in your your uh, rules are published now and you need to go and here in this sketch your application go to component click on first sign and add fibers tv component like mptv or whatever you like fibers tv make sure you choose the data location because it creates uh, a tree or parent data key tree over here so i'm gonna choose write data so here i use firebase db and data i add it here so it's done now close this application Make sure you remember your component name because the same component triggered same name in another application.
square slot now create another application with the name admin go to advanced settings and change whatever you like like I'm gonna change it with admin dot com dot io or console thing like that change the project name and create application and here you have to do same thing go to library go to firebase I'm gonna skip this step so I uh, here you can see I already added everything the same thing same project ID that we've been created I save it like that here you can see now here uh, I'm gonna add one component with the same name firebase tv like it will be like the same name firebase tv and add it is it's done now and go to view section one button one click I'm gonna add I'm gonna create one variable it will be the map variable name it like that is property where you want to just name it and I'm gonna add one put key and here in this component section just add this block push value to firebase and I'm gonna clear the map that's all now just add choose firebase tv choose your map like it does and clear the map put key uh, this key means like what it uh, showing in your firebase database with the child key so I'm gonna add like data and value of edit text one so just go to view and start this block like text view one edit text one to get text after that it's okay so you can add one thing mm, now it's okay you can add one post here because we are not using any storage if we have any storage option we can use uh, on upload success or on upload complete so here I'm gonna add upload it it will be upload in my storage option so I'm going to on create activity here I'm gonna change and create activity title with the name let me nap it's now done you can see so I'm gonna run this project from here this application before I do I have to go to okay let me run it because it don't work without admin application now done uh, and go back your user application here in this user application just open your user app console and here you have to uh, add go to view and go to plus click tap on this plus one and you have to add on item click if you want to add one item click and here you can see one option missing 
so how you can add this option make sure you add your custom view with it on here choose the custom after that I'm gonna make it zero it looks weird sorry about that actually I'm sick that's why my voice is too sick and here in the plus sign you can see applying custom view showing now and you can add on item click I'm gonna add on item click so here you can see two things added in component section tap on plus sign on child edit you can also add on child changed so here on view section on blind custom view just add because we are showing test view that's why we're gonna load text view like test view to set text from blind custom view and go to list create a list at least the list map name or whatever you like I'm gonna add list map and use this box get value you can add it here position with the key that we upload data on fiber storage you also can uh, use if then block like if uh, it equals to where it goes let me open you can do this true false also but we don't need it right now talk about that and just add on brand custom view like that go to our item click here in this section is really important so add the same thing right and click what you really want to show I'm gonna add toast here I'm gonna add one joint block I'm gonna get my text the name data showing hello it's okay now go to component section on child edit go to view and select this block Go to component, add this one, and make sure you add refresh data also. Yeah, now add fire this list map, your list map, and this map, this view one. That's now okay. So make sure everything correct. So I'm gonna change the activity name, the component title. It will be like user app. Now it's done. Now just run your application. This time I'm going to add an application first. Okay, I'm gonna add one text like uh, example app. I'm gonna click on upload. It uploaded to my Firebase as an example. I'm gonna show me in so about that in Firebase storage. So if I have this database,
so you can see you name it like data and it's Google here and if I go to child here data is something I have already uploaded now we get the same information to our user app if I open user app you can see example app showing like that if I click on it it's a hello example app that we have already added so guys thank you for watching this is um, huge tutorial I've got more sick that's why my voice is too weak and I've got some mistakes in speaking also so in this tutorial we also going to learn many things in this lesson so um, in this video you only see how we can retrieve our access data and upload it in our firebase database also so it's a complete tutorial make sure you subscribe my channel because next video we're going to talking about firebase storage of course so share this video if you're new at firebase or sketcher thank you guys thank you for watching if you have any problem you can go for comment